Howdy, it's me, ya boy, I'm back, another video, funny thing, okay, so, the drawing that I have showing right now, I did this back in January, at the time of this recording, uh, it's now April, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it's been a hot minute, uh, I haven't been, I, I thought I'd be able to, like, you know, record myself and like show me doing these drawings like once a week but obviously i could not handle that anyways anyways i'm showing you now because i realized you know what you know what i have improved i have improved it's the end of the semester and i've seen the improvement because i'm looking at this drawing now and i don't like it not at all but but i think this is important this is one of the reasons i started doing this in the first place i like seeing the progress oh god my bird is going to start chirping hold on let me go close the door okay so um here's the thing a lot of people, I don't want to, okay, it sounds like I'm calling people, I'm not really calling people out, but it, it's what we all do. Whenever someone posts art on whatever platform, YouTube, Instagram, um, I, those are the only two places I know really. Uh, but whenever people post their art, you all, they always show the finished product, of course, and, and you know, that makes sense. Not a lot of people show the process, I mean, some do, don't, don't get me wrong, that's like the, I just you know, the entire speed painting community <laughs> shows their process. But a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people really don't show their ugly drawings or they don't show the month to month progression of how they got there or how they're, they're able to make like, like, I don't know if this makes sense, but it's like, we miss all those formative years. I think like maybe when you're taking like your first drawing class and stuff like that, these are not, you know, this is not from like my first in drawing class or anything. I've been in college for like almost, oh God, six years now. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm still kind of, I don't want to say I'm starting out, but you know, I'm still learning new things and I figured why not just start capturing it because I can only get better from here. Now, with that said, I, I still, I do not like this drawing. Uh, now that I'm, li I liked it at the time. People thought it was cool, but I, I'm, I'm really not digging it now, but you know what, for what it's worth, I, I, it does make me feel pretty proud because I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, I can do a lot better, honestly, which is pretty cool. And I think a lot of people need to see that, that, you know, and, and, and you know what, it, it does, it does hurt a little bit, not hurt, hurts the wrong word, but it feels kind of weird to, to like post this drawing, I guess. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like this is what I should be doing. I gotta, I feel like I need to show people that, you know what, you're gonna have like thousands upon thousands of bad drawings and just need to like show them, you know, and I'll, I'll be honest, there are some drawings that are just like absolutely abominable that I did this semester and I, I didn't even, I don't even think I bothered recording them, but you know, uh, yeah. I'm human. I'm human. I'm human. I can't change that. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Anyways. This assignment was basic. It, it's it, honestly, this is probably one of the hardest assignments I had the whole semester. And this was day one of class, mind you. <laughs> it, it's very intimidating seeing a white canvas in front of you. And that's what our job, our, our professor was like, okay, start off with a white canvas, draw whatever, anything, literally anything. And I struggled so hard. I'm sure you can see. I do this thing for some reason that like whenever I, I, I just give up on a drawing or not give up, but I just don't know what to draw. I start drawing like tentacles. I don't know. I, I, I Hey, look, look. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. I know what you're thinking, but no, that's not it. Look, just it just happens. I don't know why, but you know, I... I had this idea of like, uh, I don't know what to draw. What did I do today? Uh, I went to school. So then I just drew myself like going to school. And, um, you know, as you can see, that kind of did not work out. But eventually what started forming was like, I had this idea of like, well, how? Okay, I went to school, but let's think of storytelling. How would I get to school? Sure, I drive. I don't like driving, though. It's annoying. It's There's traffic and people, and it's like, no. And then I thought, okay, what about I have a bird? What if I rode my bird to school? And I was like, hmm. And then I just started doodling, and then, of course, this, this kind of like, it, it just kind of happened. And it's kind of fun to see, like, <laughs> I mean, it's it's fun, but it's also kind of weird to see how, like, my brain took that 180 real fat i don't know you know what i mean like i was like wow my brain really just went from hmm, i'm gonna draw myself going to school and there's a big bird <laughs> it's it's weird but it's really fun to see i think um 
Yeah, so that's pretty much all that I tried doing in this drawing. One thing that I do not enjoy looking back at this, um, and it's kind of wrong to compare yourselves to other artists or to think that people are better than you because, like, can, can you hear that stutter? I stuttered because, like, it, it's very hard for me to, like, break that habit, but I know you're not supposed to. I still do it, but I will give some people some credit, though, because everybody... And this is kind of weird. Everybody did a background. <laughs> Everyone drew like some sort of character, some sort of whatever. And then they just had a background. And I was like, oh, uh. <laughs> even my professor during critique, she was just like, yeah, you should add a background because that white canvas in the back is just kind of like your dudes in the void. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I, I should probably fix that, which, well, OK, I didn't. But. I'm taking, as I mentioned before, I'm taking an environment class and stuff like that. So, like, definitely now I, I can place this character in some sort of... Sorry, if you hear the squawking, my bird is, like, popping off right now. But I, I feel more confident putting my character in a background. I think that's, like, it's completely doable for me now. Whereas before, I can see that that was a weakness that I had. And <laughs> if someone told me to put a background in there, you know, I wouldn't be able to. I, I obviously did not, was not able... Blah, blah, blah was not able to, as you can see, but I've changed and uh, I can't wait to, you know, start doing more videos and stuff to show that change because, man, <laughs> man, this drawing is a little rough. It, it's not, it's, I like the way I drew myself. Fun fact for those who, and probably like 90% of you have, who have never seen me, um, I look like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of cool, but yeah. Anyways, uh, just like a pro tip if anyone else is ever facing this kind of like struggle. Uh, I, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit. I'm kind of just talking. Fun fact, I don't think I really told people this. I used to write scripts. Uh, I used to write scripts for like <laughs> those other two animations that I put out, but like, or those three, whatever it was. Uh, I tried that. It's, it's kind of difficult. And honestly, I kind of like the way that I'm doing these now where I just kind of talk. Honestly, I'm just staring at my desktop <laughs> and uh, I'm just kind of rambling, to be honest. It's kind of like, I'm kind of like imagining myself talking to my friends on Discord or something. But any anyways, um, yeah, so one tip that kind of helped me was that I kept coming back to asking myself, like, what's the story that I want to tell? And it's kind of difficult because I was classically trained and I think, and, and by classically trained, I mean, I went to school and used pencil, paper, watercolor, uh, 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 you know, physical stuff, not digital art. I didn't start off with digital art, but the school I'm going to, they really push and teach storytelling. Like art is almost, I don't want to say it's secondary, but it kind of is. You kind of focus more on story more so. And, and I kind of, that's kind of like the way I process and think things now. It's like, yeah, sure. Like this drawing is cool. It's maybe bad or maybe this drawing is bad. I don't know. I've seen people tell wonderful stories with awful drawings. I'll be honest. But, you know, it, it, it's, that's why storytelling is just so powerful because you don't need to draw good. I don't think. I mean, take a look at like all the, you know, adult animations that are out right now. You know, those are kind of doo-doo garbo drawings. I'm not going to name any names, but you know, my point is the, the main focus is telling a story. And I kept asking, what do I want to, you know, what story do I want to tell within this canvas, within this shot, which is a kind of funny thing that I notice is that at school, we don't refer to this as a canvas. We refer to it as a shot or a scene. It's like, what are you trying to convey in your scene or your shot? And it's like, oh, I never thought of it like that. But, you know, I kept asking the question, what story do I want to tell? I obviously picked, I'm just going to draw myself going to school. But how do I get to school? Am I taking my car? Am I taking a bike, a scooter, a motorcycle? I don't even have a motorcycle. I want a motorcycle, but I don't have one. But I could draw myself on one. But I hate drawing motorcycles, so I didn't. So I drew my bird. I like my bird. I love drawing birds. Well, that's a lot. I've only drawn like two birds. But tangent, I think it's important that people start thinking in that way or maybe not who knows maybe that's a bad way i've also seen other people other youtubers and stuff who do art and they kind of like you know kind of draw random shapes or abstract figures kind of just block in shapes sorry i popped my knuckle i didn't mean to do that so if you hear that my bad but you know it's just there. there's so many ways to come up with ideas but it is initially very hard and later on i think what you'll see in these videos is 
Well, uh, one, one thing that they did teach also is that a blank white canvas is also very intimidating. Uh, I can't explain it because I think it's kind of like that's a very dumb sentence. But in reality, a white canvas, a blank white canvas is very scary. <laughs> and I think what kind of helped too was that in these later videos, you'll see that I changed the background to 50% gray because I don't, I don't know. There's something about it that kind of makes it easier to draw on. I don't know, but I, you know, who knows? What do I know? I'm still learning. You're still learning. I'm just telling you what I think works for me. And maybe you should try it too. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so enough rambling. But um, one last thing uh, I want to bring up. Um, <laughs> okay, so I am a, a, a bit of a workaholic. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I, because of the classes that I have and they're so demanding, I tend to really want to... I really want to try in most of my classes if it's... I mean, hold on. Let me disclaimer. If it's a 3D class, I hate it. And I... No, no. I will not give it the time of day. But all my other classes, I genuinely do kind of want to try even though they are kind of annoying but i i do want to like try my best and succeed do i take shortcuts yeah sure do i repeat some things yeah sure but i i do have that like feeling in me of wanting to try and do better in these courses and stuff and um one of the things that happens is that i just burn out so bad <laughs> I just, I work and work and work and don't give myself little to no time to like, I, I don't give myself me time, which is maybe like playing video games with friends or, um, I don't know, or not talking to people or stuff. Maybe, well, that's like very introverted stuff actually, but I, that's besides the point. The point is I, I don't give myself enough time to like relax. I'm, I feel like I'm just constantly working and that's a bad thing. And I'm, I kind of want to talk in depth about this, like maybe in another video or something, but I want to try this new thing. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> a bit of a gamer, but sorry. I know everybody that just heard that cringed real hard, but I, I like to play video games with friends and, um, I've been recording those because I didn't, I didn't think about it before, but I was like, Oh, wow, you know what? I can record my games if I wanted to. So I recorded some games with some friends and thought it would be fun to show so uh yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and uh <laughs> i said thanks for subscribing even though i've never even i don't think i've brought that up once in these videos uh, come on please subscribe please just kidding i'm not gonna beg um it would be cool though leave a like hit the bell whatever anyways yeah just enjoy this uh gameplay of me playing uh xyz i'm not really too sure what clip is in here it'll probably be a game of apex i've been playing a lot of apex lately and i was playing a lot of apex in january so yeah <laughs> yeah uh, so enjoy that um like i said if you are an art student and you feel like you are overwhelmed i understand getting grades getting good grades is important i understand that there's a lot of financial stuff that comes with that maybe you have a grant or a scholarship that needs you to keep or maintain a certain grade point average but honestly it's not that I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not one to make that call. I'm just kidding. No, but but really, like, take some time to, you know, enjoy yourself and make time for friends and things like that. I got to remind myself to do that. And I think, you know, showing these clips is a good way to do that. It's, it kind of keeps me accountable. Like, I, I, I want to make more of these videos and I kind of want to put little segments of games and stuff. So it kind of keeps me accountable to do that. But anyways, yeah, enjoy. Uh, laters. Thanks for watching. Still do not understand why I do that. But I'm gonna keep you doing it. Alright, later. I'm the jump master. No, I'm not. I'm jump master. Uh, I'm the jump master. Alright, ready? We're doing uh, we're playing the oh. long game. Boys. Oh look at Yellowstone. Time to kill. <clears throat> I'm going here purely because it looks like Yellowstone. No, oh, that'd be silly. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> but I think they're running over here. Towards us. Oh. I can't fucking escape a whole team. Oh, this guy's talking. What do you say? I can't escape a whole team. They're they're finishing me. Wow. Dude, there's another team. Bruh. Wow, I suck. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh. Reloading. Oh, you have a bit of time. You have like 15 seconds. No. <laughs> uh, my totem turned off. That's okay. Yes. Solo. Bruh. You should come. Bruh. Damn that battle. Oh. Oh, oh no, I fell down. Oh, we gotta go this way, Jess. Oh, we do gotta go that way. Oh, TJ, <laughs> I didn't have enough health. Oh. Oh, they're right behind you. I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. 